Hi, Cat Chancellor here with Stamp Art Connection at StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And I have a variation on this card that I did a couple weeks ago. This is a video um, using some Sizzix dies, kind of creating these neat little little chrysanthemums and little daisy and, and roses. Really nice card. This is a 5 by 7 card and it's using our shadow box frame technique. Well, I've created this card and this is really uh, a cool card because what it does is it features some Stamping Up products. And in fact, all Stamping Up products. And primarily what I want to do for this video is I want to feature these dies right here. And these dies are the uh, paper florist dies. Now they're kind of hidden in the catalog. You really don't notice them because they're not part of a suite or a bundle. They're just a set of dies. So I wanted to take these and see what I could do with them and, and um, I'm really pleased with uh, with what I was able to uh, create and uh, and then I wanted to kind of transform it over to the same kind of format I've been working with with this shadow box frame here. So um, you can see um, I've got all these little flowers that I made and I'm also going to feature the cheerful daisy dies. These are just really um, nice dies that can be used to kind of create um, these little daisies and if you use your shaping kit, and I've featured this kit um, several times, if you use your shaping kit you're able to uh, shape your flowers and especially these little daisy dies you can kind of give them a little bit more um, dimension. If you'll notice in this card we kind of ha had a plain background and then I just kind of popped it up with a, a label uh, punched uh, uh, here. But this one what we're going to do is we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, 3D emboss this background and for that I'm using the Painted Posies 3D emboss uh, folder right there. And that kind of gives it a really nice uh, nice little background. Now for this here, our Celebrate banner that goes in the front, I I'm really liking this uh, wanted to say dies and these are whenever something like this comes out I always like to get it because this is something that you can have that always gives you uh, lots of versatility in future cards no matter uh, what kind of uh, suite or that you're using you've got happy birthday celebrate uh, you are kind and then I believe uh, yeah, I believe that's it. And then you get some extra little dice. So this is a really, really good value, really good uh, set to own. Uh, there is some, um, besides the paper, and I'm here I'm featuring Boho Blue, you kind of see this really pretty, uh, this is a holographic specialty designer series paper that um, is in the in the catalog and it's kind of also I'm kind of using it as these little sprigs which are part of those dies this is really nice paper I think I've mentioned it in a couple of my other videos but my order um, came in you know there was three sh free shipping last week so I was able to uh, to pick up some some of this so that is what uh, I'm using not only for this uh, this neat little for our lettering here but also for that and then lastly and let me see if I have my oh yes I love 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 these iridescent rhinestone jewels I use those for kind of the inside of my flowers and it just kind of makes it pop so um, let me show you another version of this card this was boho blue but I also created a card in um, Blackberry Bliss. Now I wanted to kind of show you because I was I really love Boho Blue but I wanted to show how you can take another color and then how you can kind of combine the flowers, kind of make your flowers, you can kind of combine them and kind of uh, feature 
a different color for any arrangement and any color that you may want to choose. And primarily there's kind of a little formula to this. I kind of look at my background and then I use that. I always have it like a accent or anchor. I call it an anchor flower and that always kind of goes to the bottom in my my background or you know kind of my main color and then I like to pick a um, kind of a secondary color which in this case I'm picking boho blue and I usually put two of those and then I like to have a uh, white and in, in this case it's white and lemon lolly just to kind of uh, fill in so that your eye kind of sees the whole the whole arrangement. And I did the same thing here. It's the same kind of uh, formula. I kind of picked a flower, my background color here. I then picked two kind of accent colors and then I uh, pulled in my yellow lemon lolly and some white with a little bit of that that yellow accent there. And the yellow kind of softens it and again kind of lets your your eye kind of see the whole, whole arrangement. And then of course I use the same the same uh, background color for my banner here. So let me show you uh, another example. Now these these cards here and this is the card that we're going to make. These frames, this is a much smaller uh, card than the card that I made in this video. So if you want to make a card this size um, just look at my link and I'll have that and you can go ahead and cut this frame and then you can fill it up any way you want. Um, this card, these uh, shadow box frames are going to measure, oh they're about four by four by four and a half, four across, four and a half. The card itself is going to be five by a five and a half. So that's that's the standard size for this project here and then the same here for this example. But you can always change it up and I just want to show you and bring in another size. This card, uh, the frame is uh, four and a half all the way around which makes the base card size five and a half by, by five and a half because it's a five and a half square. But by doing it this way, you have you kind of open up the, the space that you have to put flowers. And let me put these two side by side. You can kind of see what I did. You have a little bit more area here for for some uh, some of the flower arranging. And all I did here is that I did the same kind of formula. I added this background color here. And then I have my kind of my secondary color, but then I added a third flower and I kind of used a color that was kind of um, within the same hue, kind of within the same family. And this is um, the uh, Moody Mauve and this is Blackberry Bliss. And then I kind of added a, was able to add a bigger flower up here and instead of putting white, because if I had put a white daisy up there, it would have gotten lost, but the larger yellow flower kind of balances out the uh, the frame the the arrangement here and uh, that's just another another option so there's some tips and ideas for this project and how to kind of uh, approach making a shadow box frame card using our very lovely uh, paper florist dies so let's go ahead and um, uh, get started but I'm going to kind of uh, let you know what kind of products you're going to need that we're going to need and then I want to I want to do a short uh, piece on on these particular dies so to make this to make this card you're going to need a base card here and this base card is um, five by five and a half so it is a 10 by five and a half scored at five. Then we're going to have a layering piece here. And this layering piece is four and three fourths by five and a quarter. In this case, I'm going to make a card using fresh freesia. Then you are going to build, and these are our the frames. So you have the long ones for the for the top and then the short ones for the bottom. Now if you go look at my other videos you can see that these are scored 
these um, the top ones are going to be uh, five and I mean two and a half by four you're going to score them one half one one and a half and two and then you're going to turn them and you're just going to score here at uh, one and a half and three and a half so you're just basically kind of scoring a little notch there and my other videos go into more detail about this so I'm just going to quickly put this together so you can see the assembly but if you want further details uh, you want to uh, you want to refer to those videos so those are my frames this is my background that is going to go behind the frame and this is the one that we're going to to emboss with our 3D embossing folder. I have my little muffin tin here. I'm going to talk about uh, all the different types of flowers you can make with the paper florist dies. Then I'm going to assemble some flowers and put the card together. You have several petal dies and these are the petal dies. So I'm going to pull out the petal dies right here and we're going to talk about those. So you have um, kind of a long, these are kind of like daisy dies, and these create uh, like this, this flower right here. Just long flower, uh, long, long petals, you kind of see, and you get two sizes. So one, one run through of, this, of these dies will create uh, this flower right here. And I'll talk about the middles later because you can, you can mix and match those. So that's kind of what you get with the petal dies. Um, then you have these long, these petal dies here. And these petal dies you can use, uh, they have uh, small and large. So you can kind of uh, mix these to make several sizes of kind of like a you know here's the small there's there's the there's the large of these kind of a daisyish daisyish flowers here I also want to point out that in the case of this this flower here I actually mix the two I use these two uh, larger petals kind of for the background and here I've already shaped them so you really you really don't see that that um, that shape but I use those for kind of like my base and then I added I, I added some of these other these other petals to it now you can see how when you use your shaping tool you can shape the flowers up or you can you can kind of shape the flowers so that they kind of uh, bend bend back then you have uh, this die and this die creates again it has a small small and large petals this die creates these these petals and depending on the number of layers that you want to add you can very simply create using just the small petals you can just create this small flower if you use the large and the small you can create you can layer here's the small die and then the larger two of the larger uh, layers for the larger petals these are just the larger two of the larger petals and I just cut those out of basic white and then I sponged them um, and then again and then you can kind of like see how I kind of changed up how I wanted the um, how I shape them and again this is basic white and I sponge them I kind of like doing them out of basic white and then sponging them because it kind of gives me some flexibility when I'm trying to do an arrangement kind of trying to, to see what colors instead of having so much cardstock to have to deal with when you're cutting your flowers these however because I love boho blue I basically um, did this out of boho blue and you can see this has several layers it's got two layers of the large flowers and then two layers of the of the smaller flowers so those are what those dies can create now um, I wanted to pull in because I forgot a couple of more flowers here this is a blue version of these flowers of these dies right here so let me just pull these over so you can kind of see 
I forgot this one here. This is a smaller version of this. Okay, and you can kind of see how those kind of match up. Um, and another larger yellow flower there. And then another color here of, of these flowers. So you can kind of see you have just lots of options. Now, I want to pull in these dies right here. Now these are the large petal dies. So these dies will create these very large flowers here. And I don't, I'm going to come up with a project for using these, but they're just really, they're just lovely. Let me move these aside because I'm going to talk centers for a minute. Now the center options are all these dies right here. Now I don't have a flower that I've done because these are probably for the larger flower, but these kind of give a, oh yes I did, I did it right here. Um, do you see that little daisy inside was made with this little die right here. So that's an option for a center. And then you have uh, these centers which I kind of used to create that one right there, that little center, and then these little itty bitty ones I just kind of popped, kind of popped in the center. And it's kind of the same for this one. Okay, so there's a, a center option. Here are using these dies, these centers here, and I just doubled them up and kind of offset them for that center. Um, here I just used the, the very small dies to create um, this flower and then I just use that tiny little little center the same with that one same with that one and then I just basically used uh, that that one uh, die for this center and then I intend to you know use the iridescent gem to go there in the middle this one which is kind of interesting because it's the same size but then I use this larger center for this one and again you could either put um, another little a little one or I you know I intend to use like a iridescent gem for the center as an accent okay same with these these I think really kind of just lend themselves to uh, to this center right here and depending on how you want it to look it can lay flat or you can really use your shaper and kind of make it kind of uh, fold a little bit more and I did the same thing with this flower. I just used that, that center as well. Now these are really, so, so here are the, the dies for those centers. Now this is a die for another center and it is this center right here. And all you do is you cut this out and what I've done is I cut it out in basic white and then I do my coloring for how I want it to, uh, you know, what I want for the center of my flower. But it can also serve, and if we look over here, it also serves as a flower in itself in our, in our, um, oops, that came out. It also serves as a flower for our, um, for our arrangement, which I think, again, it just gives you some versatility and some option. I just picked off my flower. I'm going to have to put that back. Okay, so those are all are centers and then you have some other dies that are just kind of like the flower dies I mean the leaves you have various kinds of leaves here that you can use and you have a little a little die here for the little flowers on the top and and I did cut out some examples for you just so that you can see so this is kind of that right there there's this leaf and there's that leaf there's this leaf. So there are all the, the options for this, um, for these flowers. So I think, I think you have a, all kinds of cool options for, for using these flowers. Okay, so now that we've seen how the flowers are assembled, let's go ahead and assemble our shadow box frame. I have posted the dimensions needed for the base card as well as for the four pieces needed to construct the shadow box frame. The construction of it is just like the other cards that I have posted previously. I will have links to that. I'm just going to provide this video and I'm going to put on some music because I just want you to kind of see how the 
card comes together for continuity purposes. So please enjoy. So now that I've created my frame, I'm kind of uh, taking inventory of what flowers I have in my muffin tin and what flowers I need to kind of uh, kind of go with the uh, combination of colors that I'm looking at. And right now I'm going to uh, demonstrate how you're going to build um, both the um, fresh freesia flower and I think I'm going to build a daisy flower as well as some of the middles that we had used. So uh, I, as I've said before I like using the basic white cardstock and then using a sponge dauber to color the um, the petals or the middles for whatever project I need in here I'm going to have an accent color with boho blue and of course with the lemon lolly that I'm using um, as kind of a, my yellow for my card. I'm just kind of uh, going through to see if I have the centers that I need. I'm also using this really neat. There's the there's the die there. These are some some neat foliage that comes out of the um, the daisy dies. Now I'm going to lay those um, on my um, shaping mat. I'm also going to turn on my hot glue gun, and I'm going to shape these um, kind of on the inside because I'm going to roll them kind of backwards because I want the the side that is going to be pointing out to uh, to kind of um, kind of bend out so that I can have that nice full uh, little 
a mini chrysanthemum I guess and I'm just using my tool I'm using a little bit of glue and then I like to use my uh, glue gun to kind of uh, set the base for those flowers for my uh, fresh freesia flowers I have uh, both the small and large petals die cut and I'm just going to use the different sizes of my shaping tools to kind of uh, create not only the shape as they kind of uh, bow up but I also am kind of shaping the outside edges of those petals so that they have a nice kind of a round uh, edge to them and they, they're they not really kind of sharp paper and I'm doing this for absolutely every one of the of the flowers and you can see when we put it together the petals are going to have like a nice round edge and you're not going to have like a, a hard paper edge and I think that really adds to the effect of the flower uh, that's my middle piece again just kind of shaping that and that's cut out of lemon lolly and then I'm going to grab my hot glue gun and we're going to go ahead and begin to assemble these I like to use the glue gun it's fast it's accurate and I can I kind of work in pairs where I kind of put two together and then I begin to build uh, build my flower uh, making sure that each successive layer is kind of offset and then I kind of press it together using one of my tools and then I want to put my my middle piece my center flower this is how I kind of open up my uh, these little uh, chrysanthemums uh, these little or they could be middles for the larger flower I also kind of like to shape them a little bit this is a tweezer set that comes with this particular shaping tool and it just kind of gives it just a little bit more makes it look a little bit more like a like a chrysanthemum you know like a flower as opposed to just kind of the center of a flower now I'm just kind of loosely laying out how I want the uh, the arrangement of flowers I want to kind of offset the boho blue I have my my uh, fresh freesia kind of anchoring my arrangement there in the corner and I have my uh, daisy up at the top I'm also kind of pulling in some of the extra ones I'm going to use a uh, a uh, dimensional to set up one of the flowers um, I'm just going to kind of loosely begin to, to uh, put them in place um, around my uh, around my frame and I'm using my uh, my picky tool to kind of hold things and they they set very clearly uh, very quickly when you use your um, your glue gun once I've kind of put them up I'm going to begin to kind of decide where I want to put my iridescent stalks that I have there and then I can just take one piece of this die cut greenery out of mossy meadow and with by just simply cutting it down and and using my tool to kind of curl it I can use that to just for the entire project I don't need a lot of a lot of greenery so I'm going to take out my um, ir my holographic stalks there and I'm going to go ahead and put in the greenery and then I'm going to add my holographic uh, stalks later so I'm going to go ahead and play some music so you can see how the rest of the card takes shape
So there you go. Using our paper florist dies, cheerful daisy, and wanted to say dies, as well as our painted rose, painted posies, 3D embossing folder, some basic white cardstock, boho blue, fresh freesia, and blackberry bliss, and then some of our inks to kind of color some of our flowers we were able to create these wonderful, wonderful cards. If you haven't already, please hit like. All products are available on my online store. There'll be links provided in the description below. Please go to my blog for product details. And as I stated, I'll have links for the other projects that have also featured this shadow box frame. If you're looking for a demo, please consider joining my team. Consider joining as a hobbyist for $99. You get to enjoy a 20% discount and that really uh, makes a difference when you put in um, an order for your cardstock, especially when it's combined with some of these special offers if you are subscribed to my newsletter. So go to stampartconnection.com and do that. If you are a demo and like my content, please, please, please support my Facebook analytics by clicking like, share, and leaving a comment. This is Cat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection. Happy stamping!